Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about such a new feature which has been introduced by AWS. It's been quite some time when AWS introduced it. So the particular feature is known as AWS Transit Gateway. So what is AWS Transit Gateway and why do we use it? What are the use cases when we need to create this particular one? So we are going to discuss this. Okay, so uh, for example, if we have like multiple VPCs, like we have this VPC 1, VPC 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have multiple VPCs. And now what we need to do here is we need to create connectivity among all these VPCs. So we will have to create multiple VP and uh, like VPC peering. So if I need to have connectivity from this VPC to this VPC, so I will need to have a separate VP uh, like VPC peering from this VPC to this VPC. In the same manner, every VPC will have a transitive VPC peering. Transitive means every VPC will be connected with every another VPC. So if this has this is the case, for example, if we have like multiple servers, we have so uh, n into n minus 1 divided by 2 that will become the number of VPN connections or you can call it like VPC peering connection we will need to have in order to in order to connect these particular VPCs from one another. Moreover, like uh, this is not the only case. First of all, this will become really hectic. To manage the VPN, uh, VPC connections, VPC pairing connections, it will become really hectic. Moreover, like if you are really growing uh, and you are creating multiple VPCs, so definitely whenever you create a new VPC, so you will have to create explicit VP, uh, VPC pairing connection to get that particular VPC in connection with these existing VPCs. So that will be an additional overhead on the top of AWS admin and if you are working on AWS admin so obviously this is going to be an overhead for you only. Moreover this VPC will have direct peering with this and every time you will create a VPC peering request you will have to go and you will have to accept the request and rest of things you will have to perform in order to create a VPC peering connection. Moreover all the VPCs should be in uh, same CIDR block uh, sorry should not be in the same CIDR block otherwise definitely VPC peering is not going to work. Fine. So uh, why we are talking about VPC pairings and what is uh, this particular VPC pairing and how we can overcome uh, you, uh, from this particular problem. So let me tell you one thing that VPC pairing has al always been good and obviously this is working for a small organization. But for example if you have uh, 100 VPC in different account or maybe single account. So how would you manage that? It, it will become really hard for you to manage and when you want to have interconnectivity with, between all the VPCs. So that is going to be really hectic thing for you. That is going to be really a mesh for you. It means you will have a mesh up and uh, if any of VPC pairing stops working so it will be really it will become really hard for you to identify that which particular connection is not working in a proper manner. So now let me tell you that how we can overcome from this mesh, how we can uh, resolve this problem. So AWS has uh, launched a new feature which is known as AWS Transit Gateway. Now what is Transit Gateway? So Transit Gateway uh, which is known as TGW is a network transit hub that interconnects attachments, attachments like VPC and VPN within the same account or across account. So it means if you have these two VPCs in, in same account and these two VPCs in, in different account and you have created a TGW, it means transit gateway within any of these accounts, then it will be able to make a communication between all these four VPCs. Two are from one account and two are from different account. Fine. So how does it work? So it means, for example, when you have this particular uh, like you have VPC 1, 2, 3 and 4. So all the VPCs are in need to have only single connection with this uh, transit gateway and this transit gateway will be able to make you enable that you shall be able to uh, connect multiple VPC using single uh, transit gate gateway. This is such a service which will definitely provide you high scalability. Moreover, high throughput it will provide and obviously you need not to think about, you need to worry about that how you will be managing resources. For example, currently you have 100 servers within this VPC, 20 server within this VPC, maybe 200 servers here, maybe 50 servers here. So if number of servers are going to increase or you are going to have multiple other VPCs. 
so you need not to worry about what you need to worry about here is you need to worry about that how you are going to work with your vpc and this particular vpc uh, like for example if you uh, create a replica of this vpc and obviously that vpc is going to be part of this uh, vpc transit connection vpc transit gateway so by default this particular vpc transit gateway will be associated with newly created vpc itself so that is the beauty of aws VP, aws transit gateway so it means whenever new server is created so it will have it will uh, it will by default have connection with this particular new uh, transit gateway fine Moreover, like if you need to have connection with your OPD statements on premises data center. So what it is going to do here is so as soon as you will have a uh, connection set up with your on premises data center. So you will need to have one VPN connection that, that, that will be side to side VPN. So whenever you have connection established, so for example, you have multiple subnets. So you will not be in need to have multiple VPN and multiple customer gateway, multiple virtual private gateway. So you need not to have. So multiple VPGs uh, for getting in touch with all these VPCs and multiple customer gateways for getting in touch with this particular on-premise data center then after multiple VPN connection will not be needed. So your single uh, AWS transit gateway will be able to serve you better. So obviously what this what uh, this particular is like interconnective interconnecting your VPC at a scale. So uh, irrespective of your data transfer speed, irrespective of your requirement, irrespective of your number of instances you are running within your existing data center or maybe in VPC account or in your AWS account. So uh, your AWS transit gateway works well. Then after consolidating your age connectivity, it means you have only single connecting point and obviously number of VPCs can get interconnected using this particular transit gateway which is known as TGW. Then after flexibility with routing domain. So irrespective of your domain which are associated here within this VPC or which are associated here. So these will be uh, in communication. These will be able to interact from one another without having any problem using this AWS transit gateway. So this is how we work with AWS transit gateway. Moreover, if you talk about this particular uh, topology where we have this particular limit. So you can have approx 100 VPC peering connection then after uh, number of rule per routing table can be a limit. So uh, this type of problems can be mitigated just using your AWS transit gateway. Fine. So this is uh, the particular reason and moreover this is one interview question as well that what is an another way to connect multiple VPCs rather than using AWS VPC peering connection. Fine. So the answer is transit gateway. You can definitely connect multiple servers, multiple gateways from different account from same account using AWS transit gateway. Fine. So this has been the theoretical part. So with the next video, I will cover uh, practical of this particular video and this particular concept. So thank you so very much for watching it. Have a good time. Happy learning from server Gyan. If you have any questions, so please do write in comment box. I shall be happy to assist you for that. Thank you very much. Have a good time.